Hi, welcome to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. And once again, hey, if you're doing something, you better sit down because you're going to miss something because we have a special guest here from the Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission, and his name is Stephen O. Carter, and he's from the Sports, Health, and Fitness Division. In fact, he's the chief. But, you know, I want to give you a little uh, break there. You know, this guy, he's health and fitness, and he has a cast on his leg. I, I asked him, I said, basically, what have you been doing? You doing the health, <laughs> the fitness, or what? Which one of them, Steve? <laughs> Welcome to the Ed Brown Show, Steve. Yes. Thank you. What a, uh, Boy, you got a cast there. What's going on here? Well, as a part of Health and Fitness Day, Day um, you I was doing participating what? Um, in basketball. Uh huh. And, um, and you, my body just don't move like it used to. That's it. Yeah. We, we have to learn that. And we have our regular here, Edwana Larkin, and she's going to uh, have a few questions for us, Stephen, too. So what are we going to do, Stephen? We're going to start out with you. You tell us something about yourself. How did you get involved, your background and everything? Well, first of all, thank you for having me on your award-winning show. Um, I grew up in Charlottesville, Virginia, as an energetic and young boy, um, raised mm -hmm. by a single mom. Um, mm -hmm. Love to play outside, love to play sports. Um, so along with my sports, um, I was fortunate to get a scholarship to Hagerstown Community College wow. where I played basketball and baseball. I right. couldn't get basketball out of my blood. Mm -hmm. um, and at Hagerstown, um, I discovered that I was a good baseball player. Mm -hmm. And I got drafted by professional ball clubs four times. Wow. Is that right? wow. But it's, Fantastic. Which one you end up with Pittsburgh, right? Well, yeah, um, out of high school, I got drafted by the Pittsburgh Pirates. I turned down that offer to give a chance to go to college. And in Hagerstown, I got drafted four more times by the Kansas City Royals <sighs> twice and the Milwaukee Brewers twice. Um, so I said, mm, maybe I want a little bit more education. So I got a full baseball scholarship after Hagerstown mm -hmm. to wow. the University of Georgia in Athens, Georgia, where, oh. you know, at the time and even now, um, right. SEC baseball is one of the best baseball conferences right. um, in the country. That that's true. That's great. Yeah. So that's the background. Um, I made So what position did you play during that time? You just... Play the outfield or uh, uh, out uh, second base? Your mind works wonders, doesn't it? I mean, <laughs> maybe I don't look like an outfielder, but I was a center fielder. Uh -huh. uh, I could run a little bit uh -huh. and um, always was a 300 hitter. Mm -hmm. um, and that's how I got into the game of baseball. I majored in recreation um, at the University of Georgia. So that kind of mm -hmm. um, paved the way for me to be in my current position mm -hmm. um, with Parks and Recreation. Oh, yeah. Excellent. So, uh, Edwana, you yeah, um, um, with uh, the, the state of obesity in our country, how is your office addressing that issue? Well, first of all, um, Maryland National Capital Park and Planning has an array of activities and facilities. We have 40 plus community centers. Wow. wow. Um, when That's I fantastic. took the position, I looked at our uh, fitness centers. I didn't think they were um, up to par, so park and planning was very fortunate to update. Um, at this time, we're probably 90% done, all community centers to up uh, user-friendly uh, weight equipment um, mm -hmm. because it's a good way for people to get out. Um, I oversee swimming pools, mm -hmm. um, I oversee wow. ice skating rinks, mm -hmm. um, golf. So all those activities is a great way to get outside and to be able to exercise. You know, when I grew up, we always stayed outside. Right. And now we've got <laughs> things such as computers and PS3s and text yeah. messages. iPhones. And to be honest, yeah. I can't keep up with all <laughs> right. the yeah, technology. No. Every year they come out with something. But yeah. kids, to me, I don't think get outside and play um, like we used to. So those are some of the things that we're concentrating on mm -hmm. to get kids back outside. Okay. Mm -hmm. I notice there is, uh, in, in Palmer Park, Maryland, there's that huge sports and learning complex. Do you have anything to, to do with that, Mr. Carter? Yes, I do. Actually, that um, the Wayne Carey Sports and Learning yeah. Complex is mm -hmm. under my jurisdiction, which is under my leadership. Congratulations. Um, yeah. It's a what phenomenal a facility. facility. Oh, and like absolutely. I was saying, anytime I get guests coming in, I always take them over there. We'll continue <laughs> to bring them there. We just celebrate our 10th year anniversary of that wow. complex. Wow, already? Yes. Wow. 10 years. 10 Beautiful. years has been there. Mm. Um, it has a world-renowned track, yeah. which um, Olympic size, Olympic Everything. size track, right? And swimming and, pools, gymnastics, and, and outdoors, outdoor track, track football yeah. field, right? And in the next two years, you're going to see a major facelift where we're going to put a synthetic turf football field mm -hmm. um, oh, out mm -hmm. on that property, which we're going to be able to get more users out there, mm -hmm. which we want. We want the county 
residents to enjoy something that their tax dollars help pay for. Excellent. Uh, you, you, know, know. you know what, I, I got some feedback on that uh, uh, through the uh, track and field that uh, used that facility. They were uh, wondering if park and planning could put stands on the other side of the outside there, on the other side of the field. You know, they just have stands on one side. If, they, if money could be raised, could they get involved, those different track clubs, in raising enough money to have uh, uh, stands on both sides of that I field. think the best way to do that is, you know, just to put things in writing. I'm a big mm -hmm. stickler of that, put it in writing. Mm -hmm. If it's something that um, is in our CIP yeah. project where we can have funding to be able to do that, mm -hmm. I think it would be a benefit for that facility. Yeah. Um, because we do have many people that want to kind of be on both sides right. to see that young uh, little Susie. Yeah. And, little and not Johnny. only that is that uh, then the uh, various high schools and things like that, they can utilize that uh, feel better if they, you, you have stands on both yeah, sides. Yeah, you kind of want to be closer to the people you're rooting for. Yes, right. with the sport right, of football. Right, and we exactly. do have rivalries and in this county. That's funding. That see, is funding. That, that's, that's the fun producing yes. activity, you know, where as they, that the school would be charged for or they work out something with the Board of Education. Where that, uh, but I've gotten repeated uh, requests about is that. Right? that yes, being an ex-commissioner. Say, <laughs> hey, say, why are they why they put two stands <laughs> on? You know, stand on both sides. Right. You know, right? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, you say the best way for people uh, to uh, get that done is to get uh, Just involved with the CIP and and make a proposal from the track. Not involved, Close. but just send their request to my office, and mm -hmm. I'll leave that information at the end of the show. Okay. Um, just that you know they're interested right. in seeing how that process works, mm -hmm. because it's not overnight that we can just yeah, all right. of a sudden create right. whatever amount that is going to afford us to purchase mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. But the more people that um, are saying it, it seem may seem like well, it's something would, would we need to do. Would you think if they if they had fundraisers and things of that nature to uh, donate to uh, the project? Would that be? Well, even when you were a commissioner, I'm not mm. going to say way back when, but <laughs> the other day, um, <laughs> it's always good when we have partners that are able yeah. to contribute right. to the ultimate goal. It's, right. it's, it's not always that parking planner has the money to right. be able to do everything we right. want to well, do. That's what I was thinking. So it's even more important for right. the other organization to help us raise some of right. the funding. So you are correct. Okay, so yeah. you heard it here on Ed Brown's show, is that all you people there that have been running to me about those stands, here's your opportunity to track and feel, especially in the high schools, is to uh, get out there and have fundraisers so you can have stands on both sides of the sports and learning center. Okay. Absolutely, I, I know, I teach in Anne Arundel County and the track program, the coach has brought students here to, I don't know yeah. if it was a state meet or yeah. whatever at the right. Sports and Learning Center, so it's really utilized. And I have used it myself, you know, trying to get on this <laughs> little weight thing. So I had gone like early in the morning, like six in the morning, and it was like a million people on that track walking six yeah. o'clock in the morning. Right. Yeah, it, it's very um, used, and you, you're probably never going to see or not going to see a facility where you have kids that are just starting out in, in youth program, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then we have pff, an array of seniors there. Yeah, that's that's three days a week say. we yeah. offer um, <laughs> that, pro that facility to them free of charge. Right. Wow. Uh, I've so, heard about that. And yeah. they are yeah. out there in masses on yeah. the track and the pool doing their classes, getting fit, because we know that um, our people are living, they're, they're mm -hmm. living on longer, longer these days, yeah. and it's programs like that that we can afford to offer to them free. Um, mm -hmm. It's unlike mm -hmm. any to me around the country. Right. And I think it's phenomenal. Well, well that's, that's, that's what I was telling them earlier. I said, now, I've been around uh, for a while, yeah. and I've been uh, throughout these United States, and I've never seen a facility that stresses physical fitness and education. With your computer program, you're right in step with the times. Yes, sir. You, you, the exposure that the youngsters need, right. you're right in step. And that uh, uh, computer center is just marvelous, too. Sports and learning, um, yeah. I think they yes. go hand in hand. Sports yes. and learning, absolutely. Right. right. You have fantastic. something else? No, I um, basically uh, asked okay. about the well, obesity well, program. Uh, I, the thing that I really wanted to get into was the, the senior program. You had a, a tendency to tell us the different things. What other programs do you offer 